Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to be introducing you to transformation manipulators, allowing us to scale, rotate and move our objects within Blender. Now, with doing this kind of thing, there is a lot to learn about it. First and foremost, it's a little bit different to most software packages, and you've also got a variety of different techniques and keyboard shortcuts that I want to go into detail in today's video to make sure that when you are working with Blender, you are doing it in the most efficient and easy way possible. So let's start off uh, from the top with the easiest way of actually transforming this object. When I say transform, I am talking about scaling it, rotating it and moving it. Now by default, with this object selected, I can just grab one of these manipulators on the different axes to move it. So what I can do is I can move this forwards and backwards, left and right, and up and down just by grabbing these little arrows. Now if you wanted to rotate it, you can do so very easy. Now the way you would change from one manipulator to another, with the manipulator currently being set to translation, which is movement, you'd go down to the bottom here and you've got the different icons for it. On the left hand side, you have got translate. Next to that, you've got rotate and you've got scale. If you select rotate, you are then going to be able to grab each one of these different axes and you can rotate it on those different axes just like that. Moving on to scale, if we select this, once again, all we're going to be doing is going through, selecting each one of these different axes, and then going from there, and you can do that kind of stuff. Now, what you might want to do with this, using these little icons at the bottom here, is you can have more than one manipulator active at a time. So, if you wanted to have the movement manipulator selected and the scale manipulator selected, you can hold down shift and then left click one of these manipulators to go and add to. So now you can see we've got the movement arrows and we've also got the scaling blocks. So I can move it up and down or if I grab the block, I can scale it any which way that I want to do that. So as in addition to being able to use uh, or change the manipulators at the bottom down here, you have also got some keyboard shortcuts for that. So if you want to save us yourself a little bit of time, you can just use the keyboard shortcuts as opposed to moving your mouse and going down there. To start off with, you have got S to scale your object, R to rotate your object, and then you've also got G to translate your object, so that's to move it. And you're going to notice generally these shortcuts are then going to snap to your mouse and just move anywhere that you drop it. So the movement after using these keyboard shortcuts can be quicker, but it's also different to just moving it on a certain axis. Now, if you guys wanted to move it to a certain axis, so lock it to a specific axis as opposed to doing it as a whole, so with this cube, for example, if I was to press S to scale, you can see by default, it scales it on all axes. You might not want that. To lock it onto a specific axis, such as X, you can press X, and then it's only going to scale it one way. If you want to scale it on Y, press S again, and then press Y to scale it on that particular axis. And you can do the same for each of those. So S to scale, or whichever function it is that you want to do, and then from there you can press Z and you can move it any which way you want. And this is going to apply for rotation, scaling and translation as well. So if I press G to translate and then X to lock it onto the X, you're going to see we can only move it along that one specific axis now. Now there's one last thing that I wanted to show you before we go any further, which is while you're rotating this, so let's say you press R to rotate, what you can actually do to have a bit more precision is just type in how much you want to rotate this. So let's say you have locked this to the X on the rotation, as you can see here, you can then type in a number like 90, for example, and you can rotate it exactly 90 degrees. So you can have yourself a little bit more precision there. 
um, or you can type 180, 365, any particular number, it's entirely up to you. The last thing that I wanted to show you is that you also have access to a transformation panel. This transformation panel can be brought up by pressing N on your keyboard, and this is going to allow you to fine tune each of those different settings for location, rotation, and your scale as well. So you can set the exact scale on each of the axes in here, the roto uh, rotation on each of the axes, and lastly, the location as well. So you can just grab from the end here and fine tune it, or dial in a specific number. It is entirely up to you. So hopefully you guys are a little bit more comfortable now transforming your objects within Blender. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.